importing files from external sources. Even if you measure your own surveys on site, there will also be times when you need to start the design process by importing files from external sources. These could be AutoCAD files from a professional surveyor, an architect or a map provider. Alternatively, you might have a PDF of a site. This exercise will take you through the import process and show you how to incorporate a survey file in AutoCAD format. Importing a DWG file. Create a new blank file, choosing File, New and check from Template. Choose any of the standard landmark templates that came with your software. Click OK. Use the previous exercise as a reference to change the settings to suit your preferred way of working. In my example, the file is ready to use. Choose File, Import, Import Single DXF DWG. Within the sample files, locate the file 1 Sample DWG Import and click Open. On the Import dialog, change the following settings. Unit settings in file, meters. This scale, 1 to 1. Convert objects to 2D and 3D. 2D, 3D conversion resolution, medium. It is critical that the unit settings in file field should be set to the unit measurement of the incoming file. Click the graphic attributes tab and change the settings as follows. Map color to line weights, uncheck. Add prefix to imported DXF layers, check. And next to prefix, enter the word survey. Click OK. If the font mapping dialog appears, click OK to accept the default mapping of fonts not present on your machine. Now examine the file structure. Turn your attention to the navigation palette. Click on the Design Layers button. Design layers represent the piece of paper on which you are drawing. They are usually used to separate items in 3D space, think of the floors of a building, or to separate stages of the design process. This file contains the original Design Layer 1 and a new Design Layer with the same name as the imported DWG file, and this is the Active Layer. Click the Classes button on the navigation palette. If you're familiar with AutoCAD, these classes are the equivalent of DWG layers. Classes are a classification system used to distinguish different types of objects from each other. There are many classes in the file, their names all prefixed with the word survey, so that you can clearly distinguish them from your own classes. Press and hold the Alt key on Windows or Option key on Macintosh and click the disclosure arrow to the left of the survey class. Notice that you can close the list of classes in this way. Press and hold the Alt key on Windows or Option key on Macintosh again and click on the disclosure arrow to open the list of classes. Three columns to the left of each class name represent visible, invisible and grey. Locate the class Survey Level Value and click on the invisible column to its left. All elements on the drawing belonging to this class are now invisible. Restore their visibility by clicking on the visible column. Both design layers and classes can have their visibility controlled using the navigation palette. However, they have different purposes. Design layers are the physical location of the drawn objects, while classes are like a club membership used for classifying different types of objects. You can edit classes to add graphic attributes to them so that all members of that class look the same. Change the scale. After you import the file at 1 to 1, you may wish to change the scale. 1 to 1 is always a good starting point with imports as it's likely the scale at which the file was created, but you may wish to work at a different scale. Click on the Scale button on the view bar. Choose the scale you want to work in and check the All Layers box. Also check Scale Text and then click OK. 
click the Fit to Objects button on the view bar to adjust the plan to fit on your screen. Don't be concerned if the imported site doesn't fit on the drawing area. You can change the scale of your layer at any time, but you'll later see that you can present the drawing at any scale when your design is complete. Understand the origin. Notice the coordinates of the site on the ruler. Vectorworks has preserved the coordinates of the original file. In other words, the geometry is in exactly the same place as the surveyor or architect originally drew it in their file. This is important if you'll be coordinating drawings at a later stage in the project. The plan has been drawn at an angle. To be able to draw orthogonally, or square to the page, you can rotate the whole page temporarily to line up with the rulers as if you were drawing with a parallel motion. Click the Rotate Plan button on the toolbar. Click on the lower left corner of the house and then click again anywhere along the lower edge of the house. The entire drawing will rotate to line up the house with the bottom of the drawing area. Tools such as the rectangle tool, wall tool and so forth will now easily snap horizontally and vertically and line up with the house, if that's desirable for your design process. To return to the top plan view, use the view menu on the view bar and choose top plan. Save your file if you wish, using file save. We won't be using it again as it's a standalone example designed to teach you this process alone. An important part of the import process is to always check the size of the imported elements. The use of an incorrect import unit will result in a file that's the wrong size. Note that PDF files or image files, scanned hand drawings for example, can also be imported. Examine the File Import menu to see the range of different file types that can be imported.